G'day, it's Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooquarteraustralia.com. Now, I've just published an article on my website titled Scott Morrison's New Scam, Claiming Mental Health Issues. Then I asked a question, seeking a defence for his crimes. Now, that relates to his uh, new book, which is going to be published in the next few days, called Plans for Your Good. I've dubbed it the Book of Lies, because that's what it will be, full of lies. He's uh, released an extract, a paragraph, where he claims he's got mental health issues, and that's been exposed for lies already. And uh, in that article, that's what I do. I dissect it. But there's one lie there I didn't dissect, and that's sort of only come out the last few days, and I'll uh, deal with that uh, in this video. Now, I'll quickly read you out a little bit of the article, because that sets the background. An ABC reported in the last few days, in a book Mr. Morrison says explores how faith intersected with his time as leader, he wrote that the toll of the job had worn on him and his anxiety had become acute. My doctor was amazed. I had lasted as long as I had before seeking help, Mr. Morrison wrote. Without this help, serious depression would have manifested. What impacted me was the combination of pure physical exhaustion with the unrelenting callous brutality of politics and media attacks. As a politician, I know this goes with the territory. That's not a complaint or even an accusation. It's just reality. Politicians are not made of stone, yet they're often treated as though they are, including by each other. Mr. Morrison told the ABC his Christian faith had also served as a major aid for him. The meds were helpful, but faith for me has always been the major ingredient, Mr. Morrison said. And Scott Morrison said on Twitter, sharing my story is intended to encourage others and normalise and destigmatise what is very common for many Australians. He says, sure, it was tough, but my faith, family and help I reached out for enabled me to get on with the job. Now, he also said that on Facebook. Now, that was Mr. Morrison in his book and also on social media talking about how tough it was and how he survived and the doctor couldn't believe uh, he'd lasted this long. God damn, it was tough. But he's changed his tune very, very quickly. Once it was in the media and people started asking questions, he's put out this video where he says it's very mild. And I'll play you the video now. He publishes it on Twitter. G'day, just want to say thanks for the wonderful feedback I've had after sharing my own story when it came to dealing with anxiety and mental health issues uh, when I was Prime Minister. Now, they were mild and I was able to get good help for them, which meant I could continue to perform at the, the level you, you'd expect. Having those sort of issues is not something that makes you have to give up. It means that you can get help and you can continue to perform. I mean, after that, I went on to land the orca still. And wherever you are dealing with these challenges, uh, you know you can get that help. But I must say the biggest impact on my life has been my faith in Jesus Christ. And that's what's always enabled me to get through all the challenges that I've experienced. And I share all this in my new book, Plans for Your Good, that comes out just this week on the 1st of May. And I'd encourage you, if you to get a copy. You can get it at plansforyourgood.com from all the major online sellers. So I hope you get the chance to have a read and I hope it encourages you. Uh, bless you. So there's Scott Morrison a few days after he uh, published the extract of the book and started doing media interviews. The anxiety all of a sudden and the mental health issues have become very mild. Why is that? Because people started asking questions and his lies started to crack. For example, in the article I go on to say, the SMH reported in the interview and in the book, Morrison declined to say which medication he had taken and said that while he had got through the first year of the pandemic in 2020, in 2021, that's when the pylon really got underway. Once again, Morrison's talking himself up, but notice he wouldn't say what medication he was on because there was no medication. It's a big fat lie because he's so disliked by the public, so disliked by his own party, they wouldn't even show up to his farewell dinner. He had to cancel it, and the link for that is in the article, that uh, he's claiming the mental health issue. He's playing that card for a bit of sympathy and help sell the book. Because as you've seen in that video I just played, he said, oh, the mental health and anxiety was mild, but hey, I'm publishing this book, 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 make money, money, money. That's what he's up to. And also rehabilitating his reputation with so trash, but he probably doesn't care about that. He's probably mostly focused on selling the book and making money. And to prove the point, here's a video of Scott Morrison, 2020, admitting he doesn't care what people think or say. The thing you none of us like about politics is I think all the, you know, many of the things you've raised today are about, oh, what does such and such think about this? And, and I've just learned not to care. Um, and I really don't that much. <laughs> That is a good, simple answer. <laughs>
Now, in the article I just published, I dissect the lie even further, so it's well worth reading, well worth clicking on the link below this video and go to my website and read that article. And there's a couple other videos in there well worth watching. One from uh, former Liberal Senator, uh, Consider Varanti Wells, who out some of Scott Morrison's corruption and his fake Christianity, and Morrison's mentor, Hillsong's Brian Houston, uh, who ended up getting booted from the church, which is the Hillsong Church is nothing but a multi-level marketing fraud scam. Anyhow, that's why Morrison liked it so much. And there's also a video by Sam Dastiari, former Liberal uh, Labor Party senator, who uh, was heavily involved in helping Scott Morrison uh, get elected in 2007 by giving him a dirt pole and one of Morrison's uh, competitors in the Liberal Party. So that article is well worth reading and watching those videos. But at the end of the day, Scott Morrison's a career criminal. He lies and he lies and he tells more lies. Everything's just a game to him. Uh, he couldn't care less about anyone or anything. He certainly didn't when he was uh, Prime Minister or Treasurer. Uh, he was the so-called brains behind RoboDebt, which destroyed a lot of people's lives or did a lot of damage to it. And he couldn't care less. He went to the Royal Commission and just purged himself and wiped himself of any responsibility. And that's just one example of how callous he is. And unfortunately, there's plenty of people in the old media supporting Scott Morrison and helping him push his lie to help him sell his book. Uh, that's why the old media are dying, because a lot of the public can read right through that. Anyhow, like I said, uh, make sure you visit my website and uh, read that article. I'll put the link below this video on YouTube. And also, please hit the like and subscribe button and also share this video on social media. In Kangaroo Court of Australia, independent media, I publish a website and a YouTube channel. And I'm 100% crowdfunded from viewers like yourself. So please support my Patreon account. Currently have 415 patrons donating $2,357 a month. And I need to almost double it to become financially viable. And you can donate any amount, $3, 5 10 15 20 30 40 $50 a month, whatever suits your budget. It all helps out in a big way. And the link for the Patreon account will be below this video on YouTube and also on my website. Other than that, thank you for your time and have a good day.